All right, next pick is in. Their second pick in the first round. Golden State keeps it. They picked at seven. As like Jonathan Kaminga, now they pair that with Moses Moody, shooting guard. SEC Freshman of the Year. Got it done. I mean, Alabama came out of, I mean, Arkansas came out of nowhere. Made a nice run in the NCAA tournament. Moses Moody did a terrific job there. And now he's headed to the Bay Area. And look, if he wants to learn a good work ethic and how to play shooting guard in the league, I got some guy there. So, right, Steph Curry, uh, that's a pretty good role model. All right, let's go out to our guy, Colin Warren Henninger. He knows this team. He covers this team. This is their second pick. When you see Moses Moody at 14, uh, the kid from Arkansas going out to, uh, to that franchise, what do you think of the selection, and are you surprised that this is where they went? Uh, I love, 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 love this pick. I, I had Moses Moody mocked to them at seven in some of my earlier drafts before Jonathan Kuminga became available. For them to swoop him up at 14, I, I think this is almost a perfect scenario for Golden State. 6'6 six, six guard, 6'11 six, wingspan, can immediately come in and be a 3 and D guy, but I think he has so much more potential in shot creation and playmaking down the road. I liken his ceiling to somewhere around the Chris Middleton range if he hits on all of his potential. Uh, I think Golden State, you know, they, they want to get good right away, but now they also have a piece who can help them in the future. I think with him and Kuminga, they did exactly what they wanted to do, get a, a real high up side guy who's potential trade chip and then get another guy who can help right away. Uh, I, I think the Warriors have to be absolutely elated that Moses Moody was on the board. Colin, excellent analysis. Really appreciate that there. Golden State with their second selection in the first round, Moses Moody. All right, uh, look, Coach, I ask you about how he fits in. Now, when we talk about Orlando and Jalen Suggs, they sort of have to fit to him as opposed to him having to fit to them. But when you're going to Golden State and they're getting Clay Thompson back and they have Steph Curry, and they have Draymond Green, and they have other guys from last year I picked. you got to fit in here. How will he fit in to what they have? Well, he's going to fit in because you look at, you know, SEC Freshman of the Year. This kid plays through contact. The way the Warriors like to play, especially offensively, moving without the ball, he knows how to play without the ball. This kid was trained to be a pro. I played for his coach, Eric Musselman, when he was the coach before I retired in 2004. The terminology that he's learned, this, how to prepare for teams through scouting reports. Uh, this kid's going to be a really strong rebounder, but his body, nice mid-range game. Thank you, Chris Paul, that the mid-range game is still uh, a major part of the NBA, independent of what the analytics say. But this kid is a 6'6", long combo guard that can you can move around between the guard position and the small forward position. And I think he's re ready to step into the Warriors' rotation. And because they took Kaminga early on a more athletic runner athlete this is a really home run i believe for the golden state warriors when you saw what arkansas did and eric musselman did a very nice job there and you know we saw some teams really step up in the NCAA tournament this was one of those teams we looked at and they were very exciting and you said oh here comes arkansas and a nice <laughs> job and 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 look moses moody was a huge part of that and and the reason you couldn't take your eyes off him when you were watching them on the screen what do you see with this player you know, 17 point a game guy in college. He's uh, here's how it was, it was it was explained to me. If Moses Moody is sitting there between like 12 and 17 in this draft, he's a three and D guy that can project well. And given the other options there, you know, if you can have it, take it. And with Golden State having the second chance here, the second pick uh, for them in the first round, I get why they do this. I disagree with Avery just a little bit here. I think with when you consider everything that Golden State's do, done so far with this roster and we'll have to wait and see if any of this stuff gets traded in the next hour or two let's always keep that in mind here i actually i i think it might be hard for moses moody to crack uh the rotation and get some serious minutes as a rookie we'll wait and see on it he's solid i'm not all in on him overall uh in the in the relative draft range he was taken but i'm, I'm admittedly a little bit of a seller there but yes three d guy seven foot wingspan completely understandable why golden state if it winds up keeping him would go in this route because they, they basically it's it's almost like depth insurance for the best of what they have. Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, sometimes depth insurance matters. We'll see if that grades out favorably. Here's Akeem Dermish. All right, you know what I like? Here's what I like right here. 
Fifth in Division One in free throws. Make your free throws, kids. It helps at the NBA level. He made 151, fifth in Division One. He's going to be looking to make some free throws at the NBA level with the Golden State Warriors. Let's bring in Gary Parrish. Gary, Moses Moody, the kid out of Arkansas, SEC Freshman of the Year. Uh, what's your grade for Moses Moody going to Golden State? A plus. And I had Moses Moody as a top seven, eight, nine prospect in this draft. He was one of the guys that I thought maybe the Grizzlies were moving up to 10 to try to take. So if you can get him at 14, there, there's real value there. The guys have broken him down pretty well. You know, he's a 3 and D wing who shot a good percentage from three-point range. And um, he was the best player as a freshman, as a teenager on a power conference team that went to the Elite Eight. That, that tells me something about him. It's not just a prospect, he's a player, and Golden State's got somebody who's, who's ready to play minutes next season. Gary Parrish giving it an A-plus, also an A-plus to Kenny White over on Moses Moody's draft position of 10.5. He goes 14th overall to the Golden State Warriors. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.